and I search the world, but it could have been me, a man's empty praise and treasures that fade.
Yeah. 
Thank you. 
So, Father, we, we are asking you for it to fall in all of the goodies that come with the spirit of revival, Lord God. We thank you for the signs, the wonders, the miracles, the uh, demonstrations, manifestations of the spirit of glory and power. We thank you for angelic visitations and everything that is that goes along with it. So, Father, we just give you the praise. We give you the thanks. Thank you that you hear our prayers, Father God. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we're going to keep reminding you. We're not going to let this one slip. We're going to remind you and remind you and remind you. Also, we want to thank you for the $5.7 million that we have made of Father God. Lord, we're, we're, our eyes are upon you. Lord God, our eyes are upon you. Father, with just the eye of faith, we can, we can see big bulldozers over there uh, moving ground. We see people hauling in all kinds of filter. We see uh, foundations being laid, Father God. We see concrete being poured, Father. We, 
we see uh, workers assembling steel beams, Father God, assembling the building, Father God. We see it being filled up with all kinds of wonderful things, furniture, Father God, all the things that we need. And finally, we see ourselves in it and this city uh, coming in floods to come and worship you because there is something awesome happening in this place. And we thank you for it, Lord. We thank you. You said that it was about being positioned for that which was to come. And so, Father, positioning is everything, and we just thank you again for the finances to do it. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I believe God, don't you? Yes. Well, we wanna, we're going to take up uh, our offering, regular Sunday night offering right now. A little later on, we'll take an offering up for Brother Tony. But uh, right now, if you're making out a check or if you need an envelope, make your check out to Fredericton Word of Faith Family Church. And uh, uh, Pastor Nelly, if you could hand me my wallet, I got, I, got my, I got my offering in there. And I'll need an envelope, too. Is that what I did? <laughs> Hallelujah. So anyway, we want to... Uh, I need an envelope, Jan. Yeah, I need that tonight. All right. We got some of the, the, the cutest little offering envelope people. Usherettes. We're blessed to have Brother Tony with us again tonight, too. Amen. He was here Friday night. We had a, a, he shared for a few minutes, and it was very good. All right. Thank you, Lord. You know, really, you know, we people get excited about the gifts of the Spirit and the manifestation of the Spirit. Uh, I think we ought to be just as excited about offering time too. Oh yes. We ought to be just uh, just as excited about offering time too, because uh, this is the time that we have the opportunity to sow so good seed into yes. good ground. And uh, if if you know anything about seeds, then there's always a harvest too. Yes. And so uh, we love to give. We're cheerful givers. God yes. loves a cheerful giver, yes. and uh, we're happy to give. It's not uh, something like you know you know going for a root canal or something like that, you know. Nah, this is the good stuff. This is just, we're blessed. We're being able to bless the Lord. So uh, let's just say something good over our offering tonight. Say this with me, Heavenly Father. I'm thrilled to give tonight. It's a joy. It's a pleasure. And I love to give. Because I have your nature living big on the inside of me. And you're the biggest giver of all. And I thank you, Lord, for the harvest that's coming, too. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's go ahead, ladies. See, now you got to walk all the way back up here, Jan. All right. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good to have Zach helping out here tonight. Working away at it. Well, Brother Tony, uh, like I told you before, please just obey the Holy Spirit tonight. And uh, uh, you have your bottle of water and everything, too, so you got some water, too. So anyway, let's, uh, let's just give you a big welcome tonight. Good evening, church. Should I do that again? You know what day it is today? Sunday. Sunday. Amen. Anybody else? The Lord's Day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And I shall rejoice. And I shall be glad again. Church, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for inviting me in this place. I want to tell you, I, mean, I, I feel family in this place. Really, I do. I travel to a lot of different churches and I want to meet with a lot of different people. And I got to tell you, this is probably the warmest place I've ever been in. And I'm serious to say it. Pastor, I want to thank you for inviting me. And you can... Oh, yes. Okay. I keep forgetting to that mask on. Uh, your, your wife, Zenny, I just, uh, just want to say hello to her. I know she's watching on, on, on this live stream. I just want to say hi, Zenny. Miss you. And then, I believe God we 
want to do something here, really something powerful here tonight. Amen. 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 It's not by might. No. It's not by power. No. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's go. I'd like to say a prayer before him. Can we do that, man? Yes. Almighty Father God, we just come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We come before you. We know that you hear us, Father God. Jesus said these words. He said, Head first, you should ask me nothing. But whatsoever you should ask the Father in my name, this I will do it, that the Father will be glorified as Son. So tonight, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, you be glorified in your Son. I ask you, Lord God, to establish my thoughts, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, Lord God, that not my thoughts, Lord God, but your thoughts, I humble myself before you. I yield myself before you. I ask you tonight, God, that you would put your words into my mouth. And that you would establish, Lord, in every word that come out of my, my mouth. I pray that I decrease, but you decrease, increase in this place. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Now, Father, I pray that you open every eye to see beyond sin. And that you will open every ear to hear beyond hearing. And that you open every heart to receive. We purpose in our hearts, Father God, we stand before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We purpose in our heart, Lord God, to give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, Lord God. We exalt your holy name. And everybody says? Amen. And everybody says? Amen. Amen. You know, God, Jesus is in this place. Yes. Jesus is in this place. When I came in, I brought him. Like <laughs> I said, when you came in this place, you brought him with you. Amen? Amen? Amen. He says, I'm the way, and I'm the truth, and I'm the life. Amen? Today, to, to, you know, Pastor asked me on Friday night that I would come here on Sunday night and, and minister. And I asked him, what, I said, what, what do you want me to preach on? He said, well, I said, Holy, Holy Ghost night. Right? And Sunday night, Holy Ghost night. Amen? So I prayed about it. I said, God, what do you want me to preach about here tonight? Really? I don't just want to preach because I'm preaching. I just want to preach it and then I want to preach what you want to preach. So tonight I believe that what I'm preaching is, can I have your liberty to preach what I feel the Lord put in my heart to preach here tonight? Amen? I believe God wants signs. I believe God wants wonders. I believe with all my heart that he wants the miracles coming in. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He went to the cross, God Almighty. God Almighty, did you hear what I just said? God Almighty, he went to the cross. He came into this world because he knew you and you and you and you and each and one of us. And he said, I'm going there so they can be set free. Amen? He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever will believe upon him would not perish. A lot of people perish, think perish means, you know, that you're going to hell. That's not just all it means. It means that you're not walking the things of the kingdom. Amen? Right? You know, we are eternal beings. Yes. Every man, woman, and child in this world is eternal. Simple as that. Right? There's only two places. There's the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. Simple as that. Amen? Amen. We belong to the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen? Jesus said this. He said, the work that I do, will you do also. Yes. Man, I'm going to tell you, Jesus did some pretty wondrous works today. Yes. He said, in even greater works than these shall you do. Who believes them? Who believes Jesus? So please put your hand up. You believe Jesus. But just what Jesus said, he said, the works I do, well, you do also. And even greater works than these shall you do. So tonight I'm going to try to help you to walk into that next step. I'm going to try to show you a little bit more on how to walk into the power of God. When I was here, I think it was Friday, on a Friday night, I think I mentioned it, maybe I mentioned it before that too. But the Lord used me to raise five people from the dead, and I'm not ashamed to say so. I'm excited to say so. Amen. God can use me. He can use anybody. Yeah. He can use anybody. He can use you and you and you. Yeah. Most people don't know how to do it. They don't know what to say or how to approach that. Amen. Yeah. And maybe, 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 maybe I'll just go on that just a, a little bit on that part of it. The Lord told me to do different things during, during my walk with him. And I was obedient. I was always obedient to what God told me to do. To the best of my knowledge, whatever I have you. Right? I remember one of my nephews, he had machine muscular dystrophy. Mm -hmm. He was the oldest living victim in the world. Okay? Mm -hmm. Usually when you have machine muscular dystrophy, you're not, if you have it as a child, you're not moving to, 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 to you're live beyond the teenage years. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But my nephew, okay, he died at age 45. Awesome. But he also died at a younger age. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call one day that he was taken to Toronto Hospital. And it's uh, Toronto for sick children. And that he had died. 
And I said, no. I said, no. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, that name, listen to me, that name, that's what I'm going to talk to you about, that name. That name about every name. Amen? Not in the name of Tony Shelton. Not in, in the name of uh, someone else, okay? But in that name. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, Neil, his name is Neil. I said, I command you to come back to life in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. And not much longer after that, I got the word that Neil was alive. He was alive. Amen? Right? That being said, I remember my mom wife and I, one day we were living in, how many you know Moncton here? No Moncton here, well. We lived in Centennial Park. We lived on Birchwood Crescent. There's a young girl, her name is Winifred, and her husband was David. And Winifred and David, my wife and I, had led them to the Lord. Did I share this before here? I don't think so, did I? I don't think I did. Right? My wife and I had led them to the Lord like a couple months beforehand. Winifred was a native girl. Man, she was strong in spirit. When she said she was going to do something, you knew Winifred. Winifred was going to do what she said she was going to do. There was no backing down, no backing off. Simple that. Uh, Winifred came to my house this one day. My wife and I, another couple, Ted and Cheryl, Duff, we were sitting in our living in that kitchen. And Winifred was the kind of woman that she'd come into our house at any time, and she just opened the door and walked right on in. And she comes in, and she had this big smile on her face, saying hi to everybody. And she picks up the telephone, and that time you had, it was the, you know, you got a, what do you call it, like a ringer, right? So she ringed that phone, she picked up the phone. And as she picked up the phone, and she started ringing, all of a sudden she burst out in tears. But she caught our eyes, she caught our attention. I said, Winifred, I said, Winifred, I mean, you know, I said, something's going on, I said, what's, what's wrong? Oh, she said, nothing, and she puts on that mask again. And she puts on that mask, I said, Winifred, I said, what is wrong? Oh, she said, Tony, she said, nothing, it's fine, right? And she rings down. And again, and again, she did that about three different times. Every time she burst out of these tears, I said, come on, Winifred. I said, you and I are going to the family room. Again, my wife sitting there with another couple, right? I said, Winifred, let's go into the family room. I said, Winifred, I said, I said, what's going on? Oh, she says, Tony, she burst in tears. She said, Tony, she said, I just come back from the kind I think it's the kind of colleges, right? She said, I, I just come back from the kind of colleges, and before that, I went to the pediatrician, and both the pediatrician and the kind of colleges both said, the baby, I said, my woman is dead, has died. See, Winifred had a sleeping disorder. I didn't know about the sleeping disorder. She was driving from Moncton over to Riverview. As she was driving over from Moncton to Riverview, she fell asleep. And her car, brand new car, she hit the, like, the rail that going across the, 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 the causeway. And I mean, known to her, she demolished the car, but known to her that the bit something happened to the baby. So as that being said, she went to the doctor, this is what she found out. And she said, told me, she said, I got to call my husband, David. She said, the doctor told me I had to remove this baby immediately, immediately, like in death. And all of a sudden, the Lord spoke to me, listen to me. The Bible said, my sheep, they hear my voice. The voice of strangers, they shall not follow. Why? Because they, love, they, they believe me. Because they believe, right? I said, Winifred. And as Winifred was talking, she told me this. I said, the Lord, the Lord told me, she said, that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. You raised this baby from the dead. That's what Jesus, that's what he told me. That's what he told me. I said, when first. Then I never did it. I, probably I never ever did it again. that for my little nephew. Right? My, my mom and my family ever acknowledged the fact that it was God that brought that boy back to life. Yeah. Somehow they accused that fact. Right? I, I said, when the Lord just spoke to me. And the Lord just told me this. He said, Tony, he said, he said, he said you make that baby come back to life. Come back to life. I said, Winifred, I said, the Lord just spoke to me. That's what the Lord told me. And as soon as the Lord told me, I heard another voice. A little voice, you know, the devil, you know, you know, you know, you know that, 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 such thing as the devil, isn't there? And that voice of the devil said, he said, don't do this. Don't do this. I ignored that voice. My wife comes in from the kitchen. She said, Tony, what are you doing? Tony, what are you doing? I said, Leah, my wife's name, name is Leah. I said, you go back in the kitchen, Leah. Go back in the kitchen. Let me be. Let me be. The devil tried to shut me down. I said, Winifred, I said, I tell you, I tell you, I said, Winifred. Again, I've never been through this, I didn't like this before. I said, Winifred, I, I, said, I said, the Lord told me that if I would pray over you, that that baby would come to life. I didn't say if. I didn't say maybe. I said, if I pray over you, that baby would come back to life. This guy, don't get me wrong, I know it wasn't me. I know who's inside me. 
And if you're born again, you've got the same Jesus inside me, inside you, that I have in me. I said, when I heard that, when I heard that, I know. I know, I know, I know. I said, I said but I pray over you. And I'm thinking at the same time, I, I, I've never done that. I said, God, what do I do? What do I say? Then he reminded me of Ezekiel. He also reminded me of, of, of Jeremiah. He said, give no thought for what you shall say. But at the very hour off the words into your mouth. See, I had to trust God. I had to trust God. And I tried. I said, when I pray for you, I said, that day he's going to come back to life. You know, I, I knew what I was dealing with. I was dealing with a distraught woman. Man, he had come back to the room and she said, Tony, please, Tony, Tony, don't, don't, don't do this, don't do this. I said, he go back in the kitchen. Go back in the kitchen. I said, Winifred, I said, you can trust me. I knew what you did. She said, yeah. I said, I pray for you. I said, yeah. I said, I know that baby's going to come back to life. How do I know? I said, I trusted God. I trusted him. He means what he says, and he says what he means, right? Yeah. I said, Winifred, the Lord told me about to pray for you. The devil told me to came back. He said, you're going to kill this woman. You're going to kill this woman. Don't get to do this. I said, no. I said, no. In Jesus' name. I said, Winifred, I said, I pray for you. Winifred, what that woman? I knew if she said, hey, this, I'm going to do this. I'll do this. She meant what she said, and, meant, and it did what she meant, right? I said, Winifred, I said, do you want me to pray for you? She said, Tony, you really, really believe this? I said, I sure do. I sure do. I said, okay, Winifred. I said, okay. I said, Winifred, I said, lift up your hands in Jesus' name. I said, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I can tell you word for word that I said that day. I said, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you, you spirit of death. I command you in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ that you come out of this baby right now. And I command you to go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, baby, you come back to life in this woman's womb right now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, in Jesus' name. My wife again came the third time. I said, yeah, go back to the kitchen. Yeah, go back. Go back. And the devil's still speaking to me. He's trying to tell me, don't do this, don't do this. You, you know, I said, W or I go. Jesus of Messiah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I said, Winifred, I said, do you feel anything different? And she said, no. I said, you don't feel nothing. She said, no. The house, it was just like, you couldn't hear a, you couldn't hear a beat. It was, so, it was so serene, quiet, you know what I'm saying? I said, here, the important one, I'm about to tell you. So Winifred never felt anything. I said, Winifred, I said, lift up your hands and give God the glory. And give God the praise. Amen? Amen? Amen. Winifred left my house. We lived on virtual crutches, so she had to drive down about three court, three roads, three to three, then yeah, down three different streets. And then she came to St. George Boulevard, right? And when she stopped at St. George Boulevard, ready to go on to St. George Boulevard, the baby kicked in her womb. The baby kicked in her womb. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Amen? That's the true case. I keep you here and tell you about the other ones, too. I'll tell you one more. There was a girl from the... I, I did women retreats, a few women retreats over in P.I. And there's one young girl that was there about 10 years ago, 10, 10, about 10, 12 years ago. And she at that time, she was probably 22 or 23 years of age. And, you know, I, I met her. I knew who she was, but if I had you, I get this phone call. And I'll for a drive. Usually I go for a drive every morning and I go into praise and worship and listening to the word of God. And this, 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 this woman's name is Dana Holman from Old Holman from O'Leary, P.I. She said, Tony, this is Dana. She said, did you remember me? I said, yeah, Dana, I do remember you. She said, remember you told a story about this girl that the baby had died in the womb? She said, yeah. I said, well, my baby's dead. The doctors called my baby dead, too. She said, well, you prayed for me. I said, Dana, did you believe that story? Did you believe the story when I talked to you about the, about about Jesus, you know, about a baby coming back to life with Winifred? She said, yeah, that's what I'm calling you. I said, Are you, do you believe that Jesus will, will raise that baby for us? She said, yes. I said, let's pray. I said, and I said the exact same word. I said, baby, I command you to come back to life in Jesus' mighty name. And anyway, the conversation ended. We had uh, two, two, I don't know, maybe two or three months later, I get a phone call from her. And she said, the baby's alive. And the baby's wow. The baby's alive. The baby's wow. Yes. God said, I'm not a respecter person. But I've done through one. I can do it through you, and I will do it through you. He said, I've given you all the power. Not by might, not by power, but my spirit. Say it's the Lord. Amen. Oh, that wonderful name of Jesus Christ. There's power in the name of Jesus. 
So tonight I feel the Lord really wants, he wants to start doing miracles. He, he wants not to start, he's already done many, I'm sure, right? But he wants to do a lot more. And he wants to use you. And he wants to use you and you and you. And you're born again. Amen? You get the spirit of Jesus inside you. If you're born again and you get the Holy Spirit, the same power that, that, that Jesus moved in, okay? It will move in through you. Hallelujah. God is good today. There's power. There's power in the name of Jesus. I want you to say that with me. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's no power in my name. There's no power in his name or your name or your name. There's a man in Moncton, he sells real estate. His name is Jesus. There's no power in his name. His name is Jesus, right? We're talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen? We have the authority. So then we're talking about one of the most essential keys to walk into the power of God. How many here want to walk in the power of God? I mean, how many here really, seriously, you know, do you really want to walk in the power of God? And maybe that's for somebody, that, you know, that's sick or blind or lame. Somebody just bought it. I was in the jail with him not to, uh, got, uh, about a month ago. There were 10 guys that came out. All 10 of them received baptism, received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I asked the guys, I said, well, guys, I said, is anybody here in pain? And it was quietness. And the one guy said, I'm in pain. I'm in bad pain. He said, I said, can I pray for you? Can't touch him. I said, can I pray for you? He said, you have to sure can. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you pain. Leave this body down. I command you in Jesus' mighty name. Not in Tony's name. In the name of Jesus, I command you to come out. And I command you to go right down in Jesus' name. He stood there and he said, look. And he started pointing. He said, stop it. He said, God, he's back. You know, they all know that he had pain. But he was witnessing right there and then to everybody else. You know, I don't know how many people are here. That's not what's important. I don't want this place packed full. How about you? Um, this place needs to be packed full. Amen. There's a lot of furry people out there. There's people that's addicted, you know, addicted to alcohol, addicted to drugs. There's people that, that you know, have mental problems. There's people that have physical problems. They have financial problems. But the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to tell will repair all that. Yes, Amen? Yes. Nothing more powerful than that name of Jesus most of the churches we go, we not even in the praise and worship, do we hear the name of Jesus? We need to hear the name of Jesus. Yeah. The name of Jesus has been discounted to it. We hardly hear it. We hear God or the guy above, whatever have you. We need to hear the name of Jesus. We need to lift up our hands to the name of Jesus. I'm going to prove that to you tonight from the scriptures, amen? We have the name of Jesus. If Jesus is your Lord, then you are his family. You're in the family of God. And, you, and then you have his name. You have the power in his name. The same works that he has done, you shall do also in my name. Amen? Right? Amen. The name of Jesus, the Christ. That word, the Christ. Jesus Christ. That means the anointed one. You know that when you're born again, you become anointed? Say, I'm anointed of God. I'm anointed of God. Yes, you are. Don't listen to that little voice. Like the little voice that tried to shut me down. Don't listen to that. Just ignore that voice and tell us to go in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 You're born in his family, therefore you have access to that name. Right? Amen. You don't have to ask permission to use that name. The name already belongs to you. You are part of that family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to this one. When a woman, when, when she marries a man, she doesn't have to ask for his permission to use his name, does she? Amen. It's already hers, and everything he has, everything that belongs to him now belongs to her. Say amen, girls. Amen. 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 My son, he got married a little later in life, whatever I had you, and married a younger girl. And, you know, man, I'm going to tell you, he had a nice car, he had a nice house, he got this, he got that. The day he married her, she owned that. <laughs> and that's the part. And so it is with the name of Jesus. You're in the family of God. You have that name. Amen. amen. You have the power of attorney. You have the power of attorney. What you declare on earth is declared in heaven. God said this. He said, he told me, he said, Tony, go preach this. He said, free has been given. Now freely give. And declare that the kingdom of God, that the kingdom of God is at hand. We are in the kingdom of God. I represent Jesus Christ. You represent Jesus Christ. The Bible says you've been made priest of the Most High God. The Bible says you're an ambassador in the kingdom of God. I mean, he said you're a peculiar person. Yeah, you're in this world, but you're not of this world. Amen? You're of another world. You are. Amen? Amen. Oh, gosh. 
Oh gosh, that name. That wonderful name. Listen, the name of Jesus has authority in, in every situation. You gotta know that. In every situation, over and over and over, I've used that name. I tell you, hundreds and hundreds of people that had pain, gone. That prayed for, gone. How could I take the glory myself? I cannot do anything. I knew that, you know, from the beginning. There's only one that he went to the cross. God himself went to the cross. And then on the cross, he took your pain. He took every sickness, every disease. Not only for the, for the born again, but every man, woman, and child. And it's by grace. Amen. Not by works that you can boast. It's a free gift, God says. Free gift. Amen? Amen. Amen. You've got to come to realize that when you use the name of Jesus Christ, that you... That you, you that we are using our name because we are in him. And he is in us. Amen? That's my name. I have the right to that name. Amen? No matter what the devil tries to tell you, the devil don't want you to know what I'm talking to you about. Well, I already know that you already know what I'm talking about. I just try to bring you in deeper. Bring you in deeper. Give you a little bit more problems. A little bit more problems. Don't we? You know? Yeah, I got I to gotta cross that line. I got to cross the line. See, as you cross that line, here's what happens. Okay? As you start to cross that line, and all of a sudden, that, that doubt comes in. That unbelief comes in. And you pray, but you don't really believe. You've got to believe. You've got to believe. Right? You just cast down. Yeah, this is that the enemy attacks the mind. It's not the mind, it's the heart. Amen. If you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. Right? Jesus is Lord. Watch what will happen. Amen? Amen. Amen. Right? So don't go by what your, what your head tells you, go by what your heart tells you. Amen? Amen. The name of Jesus has authority over every situation. It won't, excuse me, we don't work for God, but we just receive his blessings. It's already in him to us. We're in the family of God. The Bible says everything that pertains to life and godliness has already been given. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And I tell you, how many, anybody here what wasn't here on Friday night? Anybody here? Okay, I was talking to you about cancer. I was diagnosed with three different cancers. Right? Yeah, I tell you, I was going to need to go to the doctors. But my wife, she, she took a pretty bad thing when I told her. I said, you know, I did. I went to the doctor. They said I, I, did, they said I had did three different cancers, whatever have you. They wanted me to take uh, radiation. They wanted to take me to take chemo, chemo, whatever. I wasn't going to take it. I wasn't going to take it. But my wife weeped and weeped and weeped. She said, Tony, cut. And when I, I cut him out down to her baby, what have you. Right? But by the name of Jesus, I decreed. Right from that moment out, no, in the name of Jesus, he bore my pain. In the name of Jesus, I don't care what my body was telling me, he took my sickness upon it, his own body. Yeah. And I, it made no difference what the doctor said. I said, in the name of Jesus, by his stripes, I were healed. When? 2,000 years ago. Yes, I received it. Hallelujah. I received it. Yeah. I wasn't concerned what my body told me. But they did radiation 25 times, I think 30 days of radiation, right? An hour, an hour each and whatever have you. That all being said, and after the Lord, they decided doing some CAT scans and all that kind of stuff. They, they come to realize, hey, Tony, you don't have the first two. You don't even have the first two no more. They're, they're gone. We, you know, we, I don't know, but you know, we that goes you wrong, whatever have you. But the third, multi model, model, I don't even know what the name of it is. He said, you have that. I said, all right. I said, if you say so, right? No confidence in the doctor myself. I did take I did this chemo, whatever have you. Oh, about a month ago. I, they give me an MRI. And this MRI, usually they take about half an hour. It's a complete body scan from the top of your head to the bottom of my feet. Right? And the last MRI, way back, okay, there was all kinds of uh, lacerations in, my, in the bones of my body, right? And when I went to see him, the, 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 the chemotherapist this week, uh, this past week, he, he, he looked at me and he said, Tony, he said, I'm going to tell you, he said, he said, we couldn't believe what we were seeing. Something is, she said, there was no more abrasions in your bones. She said, no more abrasions. He said, your bones are whole. That's what he told me. He didn't surprise me any. He didn't surprise me any. I just thank you, God, by your stripes are healed. Right? So often people lose their healing. They don't come into that place of healing when they pray for them. When was I healed 2,000 years ago? When did I receive the healing? The day that I made up my mind, I'm healed. Amen. I'm healed. I don't care what my body tells me. I don't care what my circumstances tells it. Right? I'm healed by His Christ. Amen. In Mark chapter one, verse 40, 42. Is that where we are? Oh. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Mark. Okay. Verse 
There was a man who went to Jesus, who had leprosy, and said to Jesus, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Here's what Jesus said. He said, I will. Yeah. See, it's the will of God that we be healed. Yeah. It be the will of God that we be set free. Mm -hmm. the sickness does not come from, from, from God. Poverty does not come from God. It comes from the enemy. Simple as that. And Jesus touched him, and the leprosy departed. Yeah. Wow, he's done something. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So the man didn't have to earn his healing. There's nothing you can do. The Bible said we're saved by grace. That's the word saved. It's all inclusive. It's sozo. S-O-Z-O. Hebrew, you know, the translation from the Greek. Right? It's all inclusive. Divine healing. You know, prosperity. You know, clearing your mind. Everything in place that has life and godliness has already provided. You know? Question. So is it the will of God that he be healed? That we be healed? Yes. Of course it is. Amen? You got to know that you have, right? Mm -hmm. Answer, yes it is. Jesus touched him and immediately the leprosy was gone. What's too hard for God? Nothing. All things are possible. The Bible says we only believe, only believe, only believe. He said, don't have to believe and unbelief. He said, only believe. All things are possible. Nothing is impossible. Amen? Jesus touched him and immediately the leprosy was gone. The word of God said, I'm saying Jesus is the same yesterday. Jesus is the same today. Forevermore. And he's done for somebody else, he'll do it for you. Amen? Whatever you have need of, it's already provided. If you try to do the work by like over praying, if you try to do the work by like fasting, okay, right? And it's you doing the work, he's going to rest. But he said, You rest in him. You take his word and you declare his word in his name above your circumstances, you see the kingdom of God work in your life. Amen? Amen. Jesus is saying yesterday. Jesus is alive today. He's alive today and he's alive forevermore. And he is in you right now if you're born again. So what's he doing right now? What's Jesus doing right now? Here's what he's doing. The same thing he was doing yesterday. Same thing he did 2,000 years ago. He's healing the sick, right? He's raising the dead. He's delivering those that, are, that, are, that, that, that need deliverance. He's raising the dead. Man, I tell you, you don't think there's a devil hanging around me, huh? right? You'll see manifestations in people's lives. I'm telling you, I see it all the time. I see it all the time. You know it's the devil. You know it's about that individual. Mm -hmm. Amen? But I've given you all authority. Fear not, the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Amen? I give you all authority. Mark 60 says, go out and cast out devils in my name. And the Lord will confirm his word mm -hmm. with signs and wonders, the Bible says. Nothing come against you can hurt you, the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Right? There's nothing can hurt you. Question. Who is he doing it through? He's doing it through people like you and you. He's doing it through you and you and you and you and each and every one of you. He said, God, here am I. Here am I. Here am I. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. In my name, you will cast out devils. You shall lay hands on the sick, amen? They shall be healed. Not a blind, not a lame, and they shall be delivered, amen? Nothing is a problem with God, and all things are possible. What do you have to do to make sure that he moves on your behalf? Call upon his name. That name, that name, that name is just not any name. That name is just not any name. Like I told you about the real sin agent, Jesus up in, up in, in Mountain, okay, right? My faith is not in him. My faith is in the Messiah. His name is Jesus. Amen. He is the Christ, the anointed one. And when I take that name, all of heaven backs up what I say in Jesus' name. All of heaven. If God before you, who could be against you? Amen? Amen. Let's show you that scripture. Go to Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. She's so fast. <laughs> and whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do it all in the name of Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God and the Father by Him. Amen? Everything you do, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, henceforth, you shall ask me nothing. But whatever you ask the Father in my name, I will do it. Amen? Right? You even have to, in your praise to the Father, first you have to come. See, God's got a prescribed way of doing things. When you go to the Father, you have to come to the Father in the name of Jesus. Even in your praise and worship, come to him in the name of Jesus. Right? Watch. Give thanks to God the Father by Him. Now, know what you're going to have to do if you're going to pray. Otherwise, when you're going to take authority, very few know how to take authority. You've got the Lord and how to take the authority. 
you got to know in your heart that you have this authority. Amen? It's been delegated to you. It's been given to you. In my name, you will cast out devils. He didn't say Jesus will cast out devils. The name of Jesus will cast out devils, but you have to go and do it. And you've got to do it, and i got to do it, and you've got to do it. You set the captives free. And you haven't had to do it yet. Maybe for a family member, maybe for your child, maybe for a spouse or whatever have you. Just to hang around this life, you're going to have to. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now notice what you're going to have to do if you're going to take authority. Go into what the word says. Go to chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. John, excuse me, John chapter 14. John chapter 14. Father, thank you for opening eyes to see. I thank you for opening ears to hear. I thank you, Lord God, for your retention in their minds, Lord God, that when they be here, Lord God, that they will chew on your word, they will eat your word as meat, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy John chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. And whatsoever you shall ask, that word, ask. Okay, translated from the Greek, really means whatsoever you shall demand. You mean you can demand God? Yes. He said, command me this day of what I should do. That's what the God said. Amen? But the, you, you do it in nice way. Right? God told you to do it. You know, that's not the way you demand. But you think you can know your, your positioning. Amen? In my name, what I do, this is what Jesus saying, that the Father may be glorified in His Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. That, that's for petition. That's when you have a need. If you, you go before the Father in the name of Jesus, and you ask the Father in the name of Jesus, and Jesus says, I will do it, that the Father will be glorified in His Son. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. God got clarity there? Very important. Yeah. That word ask comes from the Greek word Aito. Now the, now the word ask doesn't mean that you're pleading or begging for some promise or something. It means whatever you demand. Yeah. And maybe if you know your inheritance, mm -hmm. I am a son of the living God. Yeah. When you first become born again, if you're born again, you can, our, our children. But God says you've got to grow up and become sons. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Why? Okay. When you become sons, you come to that place where you come and you make those demands according to the word of God. Yeah. And you know that in his, the Father will be glorified in his Son. So you're not doing something here that glorifies you. You're glorifying the Father through the Son. Amen? Let me show you a request kind of that that you want. Look at John chapter 16, verse 23. Amen? John 16, 23. And in that day you shall ask me nothing. Very, very, that word very, very means this is so important. This is what Jesus said. He said, this is so important. Listen to what I'm telling you. Right? I'm here in his stead and I'm telling you. This is what Jesus said. This is so important what I'm telling you. Very, I say unto you, whatsoever you add, whatsoever you demand, the Father, in my name, he will give it to you. Amen. Oh, God is so good. He's just so good. Amen. Amen. He's going to give it to you. Now, this is interesting here because all of a sudden, this name, his name, is on the line. It's all about his, his name, that name, Jesus Christ. That's why you got to take that name of Jesus. And our praise and our worship, the Bible says we shall enter his gate with thanksgiving. There's a, again, there's a prescribed way, and God has that prescribed reason, and there's a reason. You should enter his gate with thanksgiving in your praise. You know, when you come to the altar of the praise and worship services, you should enter his courts with thank with enter his gates with thanksgiving. You shall enter his court courts with praise. Praise is not worship. Then you come into that place of worship. Amen? Why? It's online. It's all about his name. So in Acts chapter 3, verse 1. Acts chapter 3, verse 1, watch this. Um, he blows me away. Now Peter and John went out together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, that's about three o'clock in the afternoon. In verse 2 it says, and, and a certain man laying from his mother's womb. So this man from his mother's womb, he's laying, right? Uh, was carried whom they had did, uh, who they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask of alms. He, he, he was a beggar. He was there to ask for money every day, right? Uh, of them that entered into the temple, who seen Peter and John go about to go into the temple, asked for alms. They, this man did not ask to be healed. This man, man was asking for money. That's what he was asking. Right? Nothing else. That's what he was asking. Acts chapter 3, verse 4. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him, and John said, 
God says, look at that, look on that. Verse 5 says, and Peter said, silver and gold, listen. He says, silver and gold have enough, but such as I have, I give unto thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm -hmm. rise up and walk. Right? Yeah. Whose name did he say? He said, in the name of Jesus Christ. You mean, you, all you have to say, in the name of Jesus. Yes, that's all you have to say. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm -hmm. And all of heaven backs up what you just said. Amen? Mm -hmm. you believe it in your heart. It's all good to get amen. Verse 7 says, and he took them. Watch. You want to see how miracles happen? And Peter, he took them by the hand and he lifted them up. And immediately, and Peter grabbed them by the hands, right? Right? Immediately, his feet and ankle bone received strength. In the scripture, the Bible says God is not a respecter of person. Right? He'll, 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 he'll do it for Peter, but not for you. No, he'll do it for you as he did for Peter. Amen? Amen. The works I do, which you do also. Will you believe him? Will you trust in him? Amen? Maybe tomorrow somebody comes up to you and they say, I need prayer. You don't say, I need the name of the Almighty. You say, in the name of Jesus. You say, in the name of Jesus, and expect to see God move. You see, well, amen. Now watch this. I remember one time I walked into the harvest house. As I was walking in, this man there, and I could tell that the one leg was much, much shorter than the other leg. Never saw the man before. I said, Mister, I said, I'm a minister. I said, can I pray for you? Well, yeah, okay. I said, I see your leg shorter. I said, watch this. I said, sit down on the chair. I said, leg, I command you right now. I wasn't playing games, man. I wasn't playing games. I said, well, Blake, I command you to go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to go. I said, what? I said, see that? I said, look at that. You know, the, the amazement is in his eyes, right? They he wants to go, they want to go, they go. I don't, I don't remember if grew all the way, because there was a long girl. You know, they didn't stick around long enough to find out what I've had you. I've got to tell you one more story, but the Lord brings to my mind. I remember going to the harvest one day. And this woman, she's probably 28, 29 years of age. Everybody was afraid of her. I mean, she was demonically possessed. She was demonically possessed. I used power over devils. Right in my name, in my name. I walked in, and when I walked in, this, I watched her. There was a girl, she was sitting in a chair. She got up, another girl sat in their chair. She grabbed her by the hair and she threw her. I mean, this, she was, she, you know, she was off. Everybody was afraid of her. I walked up, I said, you might need my YouTube example, okay? I said, I take authority of See, I wasn't talking to that girl. Yeah. And that demon knew I wasn't talking. I said, I take authority over you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now look in the eye. I said, I command you, come out of her right now in Jesus' mighty name. I think she was changed. I said, have a nice day. I left. Went back to the same age. The next day, she was doing the same thing, different, in different ways, whatever. I didn't even ask her. I said, I take authority of you. I did that three different times. The third time, I had to make a phone call. Straight away after her. She's normal. She's no more than what she was. That's the authority. See, that's the world. That's what the world out there wants to see, guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know people, I don't know, you know people, you know young people like you, they're so hungry right now. Millennium, they are so hungry, they're just so thirsty. Amen? I dare you. I dare you. You know what will stop some of you? Fear. God's not giving you that spirit. Fear, that spirit. No, you speak that spirit. You say, go in Jesus' name, you do this. You say, God, thank you, you're with me. Amen? And watch what God will do. It's exciting, it is exciting. <laughs> and he took him by the hand, Peter took, uh, took him by the hand, lifted him up, and immediately his feet and anger bones received strength. That's what faith, isn't it? Without faith, think you receive nothing. Faith, but you already have faith. The minute you're born again, you have the faith of Christ. Did you know that? Yes. Amen? Amen. Don't listen to that devil that says you don't have faith. You have faith. Yes. The Bible says you only have need of faith and that seed of mustard seed. Yes. You'll say to the son to be that every moment. If you doubt not in your heart, a belief will think you say it shall come back, you shall have whatsoever you say it. That's the word it says. Amen. Yeah. Acts chapter 3, verse 3. Excuse me, verse 8. And the man, he leaped up and stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Verse 9 says, And all the people saw him walking and praising God. That's a leper. He wasn't even looking for healing. Right? It wasn't his faith, it was Peter's faith. Right? And taking that name, watch. Verse 12, chapter 3. 
And Peter, when Peter saw it, he answered and said to the people, You men, men of Israel, why marvel you at this? Or why look you ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power, our own holiness? See, Peter was saying, It's not because we're holy, it's not because we're the right, you know, righteous. Watch. Make this man, and I make this, this man to walk, verse 13, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied him the presence, uh, in the presence of, of Pilate. Of Pilate. Then he, Pilate, was determined to let him, Jesus, go. Verse 14, but Jesus denied the Holy One, the just, and delivered a murder to be granted unto you. Verse 15, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God has raised from the dead, who are we all witnesses. Verse 60 says, and his name, listen, watch this, this is so vitally important. Watch this, verse, uh, verse, verse 16, uh, verse 16, yes, watch this. And his name, to faith in his name. Not in my name, not in your name, but faith in that name of the Son of the living God, who purpose, you know, all the armies could not have put him on the cross. He humbled himself. He chose to go to the cross. He chose to let them put the nails in his hands and in his feet. He chose to let them put the, the crown of thorns in his head. He chose to be spit on, right? He chose, you know, to, to, to be whipped by the cat and nine tails with all those little whips, you know, piece of glass that would whip him out wine so that we could be redeemed. That's why God said, let the redeemed the Lord say, I'm redeemed, right? In whom the Son set free is free indeed. Now, you're my ambassador. Now, you go. And you do what I just told you to do. Watch what God will do. You'll stand back the first time. You believe. That's why it happened. But you're standing back to look at that. Wow, this really, really works. That's what I said. Hallelujah. Wow. But I believed. That's why it worked. Right? And his name. Through faith in his name. That's the, that's the scripture you should memorize right there. That's his name. His name. That's why when we come to our church, we need to start singing about Jesus Christ. Yes. Right? Yeah. Not the higher upper. Yeah. Right? Not the man upstairs. Yeah. I know when he's Emmanuel. I know he's the son of the living God. But there's something about that name. Yes, sir. And we'll see the miracles. And you'll see the healings. Yes. Amen? Praise oh, God, before us, who can be against us? God, we praise your holy name. Man, I tell you, I know I got an army here tonight. I know I got men and women here with backbone in their back, in their back. I know I got women and men in this place that say, if Lord, here I am. On. I'm going, Lord God. Not in my mind, not in my power, but by your spirit. There's people here on, watching on, 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 what do you call that? Live stream. Live stream. I'm talking to you too. In the name of Jesus, go forth. Amen. Jesus dead, if you only believe. Only believe. All things are possible to do, nothing's impossible. Amen? His name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong. That's what, that's, what, that's what Peter said. Amen? His name, through faith in his name. Faith in his name. You mean that's all it is? It's faith. It's just trust in God. That's what it is. Then he'll do what he said. Yeah, you'll hear those voices, just like I did. Said, it's not going to work. So yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's my spirit, it's the Holy Spirit that's in me, tells me it will work. Amen. Amen. This is very, very key. Now, in Acts chapter four, verse thirteen, what is Acts chapter four, verse thirteen? Hallelujah! Praise God. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and received, they received that they were unlearned and ignorant men. See, it works for unlearned and ignorant men and women. So, I'm learning the English. Hey, they're my God. They're my. You know, God said, I'll take the foolishness of the world to confound the wise. Yeah. That's why I qualified. Yeah. I feel through grade one, grade three, grade four, grade seven, grade nine, get to no grade ten. Amen? I qualify. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Amen? No one that's not me, but it's him. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and they perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them. And, 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 and that, and that they had that they had it with Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. Acts chapter four, verse fourteen. And behold, the man which was was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing against that. Verse fifteen says. But when they had command, but when they had commanded them to go outside of the council, they 
conferred among themselves. They had a meeting among themselves. And here's what they said. Verse 16 is saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a noble miracle had been done by them is manifest to, to, to all of them that dwell with them. Otherwise, you see the man that was at the, you know, at the gate. You know, he's been there since he was a child, right? He could not walk. And all of a sudden, now he's leaping and jumping. He said, we cannot deny that. Those are Jews. And we cannot deny it. That's why the devil does not want miracles. He doesn't want miracles. If he becomes your witness, well, verse 17. But that is spread no further among the people. Notice that they did not want these miracles to spread among the people. So what was their plan to stop? I'll show you what it was. Well, but that is spread no further among the people. Let us straight, straightly threaten them that they speak and forth no more, no man, uh, in this name, in this name, in the name of Jesus. They didn't say stop doing the miracle. It just said stop using the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you stop using the name of Jesus, we won't see these miracles. That's right. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. That's why we need to praise the Lord. That's why we need to worship God. Yeah. Amen? Become an attitude in church. When you come to church, you know, be it Sunday morning, whatever it is, you should already be in the attitude of worship and praise. Right? Yeah. It's just an extension of what's already happening in your life as you get up there and as you're down here. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's all they want to do. Don't, you, you can do whatever you want. You can go wherever you want, right? But don't use that name of Jesus. No different in the church today. The Lord called me to be evangelist. The, God, the Lord told me here about three years ago, he said, I'm a pastor at large. Which means that I go to different churches. I go to, I go, I go to um, what do you call it, to jails and and rehabilitation centers and you know uh, drug places, all that kind of stuff, right? I don't have a particular church, but I travel around to different churches. I don't see no power. I gotta tell you, I don't care the Pente excuse me. <laughs> I don't care the Pentecost or Baptist. I don't care what you know, Catholic or whatever have you. You know, I don't see the power in the churches. Why? Because they're not using the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right. Acts chapter four, verse eighteen. They called them Peter and John and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. They didn't say don't do no miracle. They said don't teach or preach in the name of Jesus. There's something about that name. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. What they didn't say or command was let them uh, uh, tell them no more miracle. No, they didn't tell them that. No, they said no more preaching and teaching in the name of Jesus. They said stop the stop the name because we, they knew if they stopped that name, the miracles will also be stopped. That good job, good job. You know, I've been mean, in Monday, I've been all kinds of different churches, yeah? but I'll guarantee you what this church, there you start using that name of Jesus Christ and use it more openly, right? And praise the name and worship in that name of Jesus. You'll see the miracles. You'll see people coming in left and right from the north and the south and the east and west in the name of Jesus. God is good. God is good. I'm not holding on to my bounds. Oh, they said stop that name because they do. They stop that name. The miracles then be stopped. Don't preach or teach in that name, they said. What happens when you preach or teach something? Understanding comes. Faith comes. Amen? Amen. So I, if I can teach you the name, and when I do, faith will come up in his name. Will, will come up in, in his name. And what will that name do? Whatever you ask or whatever you demand. You don't have God to heal this person. He said, you heal them. He said, you heal them. He said, you heal them. And you, and you, and you. In my name. And I'll back it up. And I'll back it up. Just give me all the glory. Just give me all the praise. Amen? Hallelujah. God, I, I praise God. I love God so much. You know, I'm going to tell you, I feel the hurting. I, I feel the pain of the sick. I feel the pain, the blind, and the lame. I, I hurt when I see somebody is addicted. I saw that from outside the other day, I hurt myself. I watch these young people all addicted to drugs. And then, oh, sad. But I'm not just staying there. I'm going in. Hallelujah. I have to. Whatever you ask, you demand in my name, Jesus says, I will do it. Whatever you demand, what do you mean, whatever you demand, I demand. In the name of Jesus, your spirit of addiction, you come out right now. I demand your spirit of infirmity, you come out. Probably I command you. I call this person Luke. I bind you. Jesus said, well, what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. What you loose on earth, right, is loose in, uh, in heaven. He meant what he said. He said what he meant. He said, I give you keys to the kingdom. 
So in the book of Acts, they didn't have they didn't have in game, but that they, that's all they had. They had that means you know that we know more than the, the early apostles. Yeah. They didn't have the Bible. No. They had some scriptures, right? The scrolls. What did they do with that name? They got baptized in the Holy Ghost in that name. Mm. They spoke in tongues in that name. They gathered together in that name. They were sent out together and they healed people in that name. Amen. Oh, God. You know, this is supposed to be a, a, a Holy Ghost night. And it is. Amen. Amen. There's power to pray in tongues. Amen. I pray in tongues a lot. I do. I pray in tongues a lot. Amen. Amen. You about said you don't know how what to pray you ought to. But the Holy Spirit, he'll search out and he knows what's going on. He'll pray the perfect in tongues to the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 They were sent out together and they heal people in that day. They cast out demons in that name. They have to listen to you and they won't hurt you. They cannot hurt you if you know your authority. If you don't know your authority, they can. <laughs> you know, what can I tell you? Amen? You have nothing to be afraid of. God's not giving you a spirit of fear. No. Go in Jesus' mighty name. They raised the dead in that name. Amen? So notice what happened. The name, the name, the name in the modern church today. Some people are afraid to use that name. They're afraid to use that name. Amen? With authority. You have to know your authority. The devil knows whether you know your authority. They sure do. They know whether you know your authority. Right? You get up in front of a fair group or you get up in front of a public audience and all of a sudden they don't want you to use that name. No, but you can use any name. They don't, they don't mind you using any name. You can talk about Muslims, you know, you know what do you call them? Mohammedan, or, you know, confused or whatever have you. You use the name of Jesus. No, stand firm and move forward. Amen? Put your hand to the Father, the Word of God says. These same people would be on the bus and they ask about God and the man upstairs, but somehow not, but somehow not use the name because when the name is used, it might offend somebody. Who cares? Who cares? Those are matter don't mind. And those are mine, just don't matter. Simple. Amen? That's a fact. Go to Philippians chapter 2, verse 8 with me, please. Chapter 2, verse 8. And he found in fashion as man, and he humbled himself, and he came to be. And who is he talking about? Jesus Christ. He is God. He didn't have to go to the cross. But he will afford to go to the cross. Can you imagine? Right? He comes up, he is obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, verse 9 says, Therefore, God has also exalted him and given him a name, a name which is above every name. That name of Jesus Christ is above cancer. That name of Jesus Christ is above blindness. Yes. That, says, that name of Jesus Christ, okay, will heal the vein. I'm praying God, I'm saying, God, your word says that they heal the veins. You know what the name is? You know something missing, a body part, and you say in the name of Jesus, I command it to grow in. And all of a sudden it appears. Amen? We'll see that here. Amen? I decree, I am the possessor of that right now in Jesus' name. Amen. That name is above, it's above every sickness. It's about manic depression. The name of Jesus Christ. That name of Jesus Christ. You know, nothing against Catholic. I'm not talking Catholic. I'm not talking Catholic. I was brought up a Catholic. I was taught every time I said the name of Jesus, I had to bow my head and, this, and make the sign of the cross. I was afraid to use that name. Not no more. I'm not afraid to use that name. I've been set free. Amen. To use that name. Oh, what a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. That name. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. How do you become saved? By the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Amen. Yeah. You believe in your heart, best of your mouth. Yeah. It's above all your family problems, above your finance. You got problems with your finance? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is petition now. I come to you and I ask you for the finance that I need to pay all my bills. Here's my bills, Lord God. Now by faith, I receive it. Thank you for it in Jesus' name. I believe. I've seen him do it over and over. He's done it for me many different times. It's about a drug addiction. That name is above a lack of a good job. It's about COVID-19, folks. I have no fear of COVID-19. Amen. Don't you want me to get started on that one? It's about mental illness. The name of Jesus. I'm almost done. 20 more pages. So you see the bug going? Oh, yeah. The name of Jesus above everything that you can name. It's above that. No matter what it is, no matter what, no matter what the circumstance, nothing's too big. All things are possible, nothing's impossible. 
Jesus told me one day, this is what he told me. I heard his voice. I did, I did. I heard his voice. He said, I'm the Alpha and I'm the Omega. And all the time, I heard his voice just like you talked to me. He said, I'm the author and I'm the finisher. Yes. Amen? Amen. And that's saying the more I know what he's talking about. Yes. Amen? Not to be read it. I know. You know, the more I know, the more I don't know. That's true. It is true. Yeah. I, but I, the more I know, the more I need, I come to know that I got to know yet. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. The name of Jesus above every day. And above every name, it's about cancer and sickness and disease and poverty. That name means that the name has authority in every situation, every situation, not just some. It doesn't work sometimes, it doesn't work other times, it works every time in Jesus. Name. You know, when, 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 you know, when they did that CAT scan, you know, as far as I knew, far, far as the, when I say I knew, no, I, I knew already, but as far as the doctor knew, right, that, that, that cancer was eating me alive. But I knew by his stripes I were healed. I mean, in that name, mm -hmm. in that name, nothing's involved with God. Yeah. Nothing. Because the doctor said, he said, we had to take a double take. He said, we had to look again. He said, and all we could see is all those abrasions. I think that's what they call He said, your bones were made perfect. Amen. Amen. Yes, Only God can do that, guys. Only God can do that. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I felt, I would feel every day. You would know. You know, I walked around with the cane. I walked around with the walker. got rid of as quick as I could. But there's just that some bad days. Right? My body was telling me I was a sick, 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 sick man. Right? But I didn't listen to my body. I didn't listen to my doctor. I listened to my God. Amen. 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 That means that name has authority over every situation. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. You're doing a great job there. <laughs> that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And I tell that man, you bow me in the name of Jesus. You bow before me. You bow, you come out, you go in Jesus' name. I'm healed. Yeah. You know, pain, I command you to go. I, I'll not receive you. I command you to go. I take authority to go. That's how I pray for people, too, by the way. Amen? Yeah. And if they don't like it, stop. What can I say? I like the results. And we're going to get results, more and more results in this church, aren't we, folks? Are we? How many here are going to start using that name of Jesus? But come on, raise up your hands. We're going to use that name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, when you come into a room, and, and excuse me, into a room, and you've got that name, demon starts to bow. They know when I'm coming. They know when I'm walking in. They know they better get out too. Yeah. Oh, I could tell you. Oh, I could tell you things, man. I could tell you. You would. You be shaking your head. I told the lions for you what that's about. You know what he said? Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that one? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so dumb. <laughs> Those demons, they know whether you believe or not. I had a mix between a German shepherd and a black lad, and I tell that dog, sit down. He sat down. So, if, I, I'm not, if I'm not into around, whatever have you, my wife would say, okay, sit down, Nimi. Dog named Nimi, sit down. <laughs> totally, totally enough. No, no, no. I was there, you know, I put food over here and food over here and food over here. And I, go, I said, don't you touch it. Don't you touch it. Right? And he wouldn't, and he wouldn't. My wife gives me a regular old thing and says, you're mean, you're mean. I said, no, this is the way I train myself to treat demons. Right? It's as simple as that. I said, do not touch that dog. And the outside, I said, okay. They're <laughs> gone. Just like that. Amen. And that's how you treat demons. They, they know when you know you have authority or not. Amen. Amen. When you go back to the book of Acts, it's all about that name. Yes. What did they do back in that name? Should read the book of Acts? I love the book of Acts. Love the book of Acts. They healed in that name. Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. They healed. You know, Peter, before, before the resurrection, he denied Christ three times. But after the resurrection, when he still with the Holy Ghost, I'm going to tell you, man, he was a super, superman. Yes. Amen? In the kingdom of God. Yes. They delivered people from their bondages in that day. Yes. They cast, i got to do this. i got to preach the gospel. I have to preach the gospel. If I don't, who will? You will, I know. And so will you. And so will you. And so you will you. Amen? We've got to do it. We've got to do it. They need the world needs to hear it. Amen? They cast out devils in that name. They preached in that name. They sang praise and worship songs and melodies in that name. Everything was done in that name. 
that you have the name of Jesus, what the authority by which they need to do things. You are a representative of heaven, and you represent the kingdom of God who is in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? You're here in his stead. Did you know that? You're ahead. Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. That's where he's sitting right down. Yeah. But he said, I'll come. He said, I'll move in you and work through you. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. But he needs the body. He needs the human body. Amen? Mm -hmm. You are representing him in heaven, and you represent the king of heaven, who is Jesus. You are representing him here, him here on the earth. So, work a miracle, I dare you. I dare you. Work a miracle. Trust God. When your head tells you, no, it won't work, no, 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 I can't do this. I, no, no, don't listen to that. Listen to what the Word of God, because the Holy Spirit will start speaking into your heart. He will. Just trust Him. You say, I don't know what to say. Holy Spirit, what do I say? He'll tell you. Just open your mouth. What, what He'll say. Amen. Lay your hands on the sick. There's power in the laying of the hands, I'll tell you there is. Let them know that you possess that name. Amen. Silver and gold have I none, but that which I have I give unto you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. Amen? Yes. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10, I'm almost finished. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. That at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth. That name. That name that's above every name. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name. Philippians chapter 2, verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That is why we possess, profess that Jesus Christ is Lord. There is but one name, just one name, there's one name that we all function by. And that name is the name that is above every other name. And his name is Jesus Christ. So, Lord, where are the miracles? Where's the miracles, Lord? Why aren't we seeing the miracles, Lord? I'll tell you where they are. People have got away from that name and belief in that name. That name, that name is about, you want to see God move? I'm going to tell you, nobody else but me is going to be me. How about you? If there's nobody else but you, will you go forth? Are you willing to say, God, here am I, Lord, here am I? Amen? Amen. Let me show you what happens in the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. There are some preacher's kids, they saw some working of miracles. Acts chapter 19, verse 11. Acts chapter 19, verse 11. And God brought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Amen? And God brought special miracles by your hands when you use that name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 19, verse 12 says, So that from his body were brought unto them sick, the, the sick handkerchiefs or aprons or dis and diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Verse 13 says this, then certain of the Bilbon Jews, Exodus, took upon them to call, to, to, excuse me, to call over them with that evil spirit, the name of Jesus Christ, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. Verse 14, look what happens here. Right. And there were seven sons of, of one Siva, a Jew, and chief of the priest which did so. These preachers could try to cast out evil spirit, uh, these evil spirits. Verse 15. All the evil spirits answered and said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, and the members of the word of faith I know, but who are you? But who are you? Amen? The Bible said, no weapon formed against you will prosper. When you take that name of Jesus and the evil spirits will come against you, and you know who you are in Christ Jesus, they cannot touch you. I've, that's been proven to my life over and over and over again. Amen. Acts chapter 19, verse 16. The man in whom the evil spirit had leaped on them and overcame them and sealed against them so that they fled out of those houses naked. They were stricken down the road. <laughs> Amen. And wounded. The evil spirit sent them stricken down the road. Yes. Do you know why? Because they didn't know. They didn't know. Remember, it's the name of Jesus and faith in that name. Right? It's the name of Jesus. A lot of people say the name of Jesus. Right? Let's say a prayer in the name of Jesus. No, it don't mean nothing. It's faith in that name. Yeah, right. Amen. Do you know why? It don't complicate it either. It's not complicated. It doesn't have to be complicated. We know who Jesus is. We know that he's the Son of the living God. We know he went to God. We know that he resurrected. We know that he's alive today. We know that he's given us the authority of power and dominion. And we do what he tells us to do. Yes, and all of heaven backs us up. Amen? Amen. 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 
because they didn't know the name and the power of that name. Those, those seven sons. The Bible said in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. Hallelujah. I'm using lots of scriptures tonight, aren't I? Okay. The name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run into yeah. and they are safe. Yeah. Where's your faith in? See, God is my high power. Don't let the form get to a prophet. My father in law, when he found out I'd become a Christian, he told my wife, she, you know, you're dead. And she, he took his fist. He had a fist. He was a, uh, a wrestler when he was a young man. And his fist was, uh, I'm not exactly, but he was a big fist. He went to hit me. And when he went to hit me, he said, I hate you. I held my hand in my pocket. He got that far. All of a sudden, boom, something stopped him. Right? I knew it was the demon spirit that was moving in him. Couldn't touch me. I can went to Tim Hortons on the corner of Weldon Street and Main Street. And I walked in. A lunatic. Came in, he had boiling hot water. I could see the steam, and he threw it on me. But when it hit me, it was cold. No weapon formed against me. Shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, God is good. Amen. God is good, and God is not respected persons. Right. Amen. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Amen. That means that name will even give protection and keep the believers safe. Amen. Those that that believe. I had a car not too long ago. I was driving down a Shadiac Road. I heard a, I heard a little bump and a, st a steering wheel, right? And all of a sudden, my, what do you call that? The zero you know, that, that comes up to protect you? Air and airbag. Air what? Air bag. Air bag, yeah, the air It blew up. I kept driving for about 20 miles all the way to Shadiac, and I stopped the car, and I went to see what was wrong. My car was demolished. I couldn't move it after once I stopped. I stopped from the gas tank. Right? right? But what I did see, I saw a white tail flying up in the air. You know what I believe it was? It was a deer. Yeah. That would be an angel too, out of my way. Yeah. Amen? Oh, God, it's good all the time, all the time. Yeah. I got $4,000 for some junk. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> amen, amen. Yeah. I remember my son, Joey. My, Joey, my son, my Joey, one day, he, at that time, he was maybe. 10, 12 years old. He had no fear. This boy, he, you know, and he, he, he could move like nobody else could move. He could stand. And he walk in his girl home, you know, the Elmwood Hotel. motel. He was driving, walking through the parking lot, and a man out of the hotel came out of the hotel. And the girl he was walking, she was well built. Just telling the way in. And this guy turns around and he attacks this girl. He attacks this girl. Oh, well, son, man, I'm going to tell you, he was her, he her defender, and he started attacking the guy. They're seeing the guy had him down on his on the on the on the pavement, and he was choking him, and just like that, three men appeared. Three men appeared. The police tried to find these three men. They couldn't find them. I believe they were angels. Amen. Amen. He's your protection. Amen. 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 The anointing that name is released when you call upon that name, Jesus, and when you believe and have faith in that name, yeah. it's not only conquered, but it it it. it Eradicates every sign of Satan. It does. And Jesus, nothing can touch you. Nothing. That day, uh, the day we are going to honor today, we're going to honor the name. I want to impart to you today the spirit of that name in Jesus' name in this place. Amen? Amen. 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 After leaving here today, you'll walk in your own home and you'll say, Who's in here? In the name of Jesus Christ. This place is off limits. In the name of Jesus, I command you to come out of this house, to leave this house. And go some deep. You tell them where to go. I tell them to go into some deep dark place. Don't go back. Right? In the name of Jesus. Amen? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I've done that many times. Seen, seen a lot of things happen as a result of that. I'll tell you what it takes to, to, to use that name to take boldness. I pray God make my face strong against your faces. Make my forehead strong Lord, I, against your from like, it's like flames, Lord God. Yeah. Give me all boldness to pray flames of word of God. No matter what the repercussions are. It takes boldness. You can take public transportation, and like I said previously, you can take public transportation and be talking about the man upstairs, but just mention the name of Jesus and everything will come to a stop. Isn't that true, though? Yeah. It's true. It's true. But continue on. Yeah. They need to hear the name of Jesus. Pray for wisdom. Every conversation will stop. Everyone will look at you when you use that name of Jesus. But, but listen, don't back down, because that's what they, what they tried to do to Paul and John. Peter and John. Amen? Amen. Wow. 
They tried to make it so that Peter and Paul, Julian, so that Paul and John couldn't speak, preach, or teach in that day. They tried to get you to speak, and not to speak that day. Right now I speak boldness into your life. But from this day forth, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, receive that in the name of Jesus. Receive the boldness in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree, I, I'm, here am I, send me in the name of Jesus. Amen. And, 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 the name of Jesus will be on your lips. Now when you call upon the name, every demon of, of drug addiction, every demon of alcoholism, every demon of anger and rage, every demon of murder, every me demon of lack, every demon of sickness in your body must go. In that name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Don't doubt it. Don't question it. That, have faith. Right? It's the name of Jesus. And having faith in that name. Amen. Amen. Watch what God, what God will do. Watch what happens to, to these demons. I'm telling you, Jesus gave you his name, and it's unlimited how much you can use it. Now, when you use his name, he comes on the scene. He said, when you use his name, he's right there. Jesus is right there. And God before you, who can be against you, man? Amen. The Holy Spirit is right there to verify the power that in that name. It's just like Jesus is right there. The name of Jesus is above every name. It doesn't make no difference if it's cancer, if it's poverty, or whatever you have, or whatever have you. It's about that name, and Jesus, excuse me, it's about every other name, name, and Jesus' name has authority over every situation. It may be different what it is, what it is in uh, period. When Jesus went back to heaven, he gave his disciples and his church his name. It's like having the power of the attorney so that we can say something or do something. It's just like Jesus saying we're doing it. And that thing has to obey you. So when you use the name of Jesus, the anointing, the power of God, arrives on the seas. Let me see. Yeah, I'm done right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to go out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I command you to go out. Those on, 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 on live stream, I command you in the name of Jesus, go forth and use that name. That name is above every name. Fear not. God has not given you that spirit of fear. If you have troubles in your home, rise up. Amen? Command that spirit to leave right now, whatever that is, in Jesus' name. It shall be. Amen. Amen. And he, Jesus, said that they go you into all the world. Mark 16. Mark 16, verse 15. And he, Jesus, said unto them, Go you into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth, not talking about you here, it's talking about the one that you're preaching, that just preach the name of Jesus to. And he said, He that you preach the gospel that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And that he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. So the one you just preach the gospel to, this is what he said. Because the assumption is, you're already walking into it. Watch, in my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. It didn't say maybe. When I took that name of Jesus, I wasn't moved. I don't care how much pain I had to go through, right? I commanded that pain to go. Go in Jesus' name. I get relief. Then it tries to come back. Go in the name of Jesus, right? But the Bible said that they shall recover in the name of Jesus. I took that promise. Amen? So then after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up to heaven. And he sat at, right, at the right hand of God. Now listen to this. Mark says, verse 20, Mark 16. And they went forth. Who? The, the believers. The one you just preached to. And they preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs and wonders following. So God says, I'm going to walk and work with you. I'm working with you. I will confirm the word you speak with signs and wonders. Yeah. We started off here today. We want to see the miracles. We want to see the healing. But I told you, I'll give, I'll give you the formula. The formula is the Word of God. The Word of the formula is the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen? Amen. Be not moved Amen. by your senses. Go by the Word of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. Father, I pray for every person that's in this room right now in the name of Jesus. Every person that's watching and listening by stream, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Make your face strong, Father God. God, make your forehead strong against your forehead. Oh, Father, put in them, Lord God, a, a contagious spirit, Lord God, for the kingdom of God, Lord God. Oh, God, to do thy work of the kingdom, Lord God, not by their might, not by their power, but by the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
Keep them in remembrance, your word. Even when they sleep, I pray, give them visions, give them dreams, Lord God. Your word says in the last days, we are in the last, the last days. Old men will have, have vision, new men, young men have dreams. So I think first. Amen? Amen. So God, I bless, I bless each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I say to you, go forth in his name. Amen? Amen. 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 And we're done. Pastor? Well, that, that was awesome today. It was all fired up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, we have that name. We can use it in our prayers. We use it in our worship. We use it uh, to, to move mountains. And we use it in dealing with demons. And, you know, over the years we've dealt with a lot of demons. And, and they, you know, when they come in, people come into my office for deliverance. Uh, and I'll tell them, I said, no, no, they don't worry. They, they're going to go. Okay? They're going to go. And, and they always go. Hallelujah. All right, well, we want to bless Brother Tony tonight. We want to take up an offering for him. If you're making out a check, make it out to Word of Faith Church. Again, if you need some envelopes tonight, we can bless him. And I do have people that will send an e-transfer. We will just mail him a check later on, too. Uh, so, but it was a good, it was a very good, good reminder tonight that uh, we're to use the name of Jesus. Yes. Pray in that name. Use that name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, we do believe in the name of Jesus here. We do. Okay? And, and we use it all the time. But it was it was just a, a good good reminder for us. So let's say something good again. So Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the word I heard and I received. There's miracles. There's power. There's signs and wonders that are accomplished when I use the name of Jesus in faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. It's after. Over here, bud. Nobody's looking, Zach. <laughs> Hopefully, it's, it's coming to it in the end. Now, if there's anybody here tonight that you just, you'd like some special prayer with Brother Tony, he'll be here for a little bit, and uh, you can just make your way up there. But remember that he, you you have as much authority as anybody. The devil will, he, he, he will know whether you know that name, whether you believe in it or not. And uh, so, but use that name. I, I heard Brother Hagen say this the other day. I thought it was quite good. He said that some people will use the name of, the, of Jesus and they'll see a little bit happen. He says if you have a little bit of faith in that name, you'll get a little bit. But if you have more faith, you'll see more happen. And if you have great faith in that name, you'll see great things happen. Mm -hmm. And so you can have a little bit of faith in that name or you can have a lot of faith in that name. Okay? And so uh, in, in dealing, you know, Believe it or not, all of us come in contact with demons. Okay, we're you know some people they're just not aware of it, but uh, again we all come into contact with them, and like like uh, 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 Brother Tony was saying, you know when you go into your home, take authority over the home, you know, rebuke that thing. I tell you, get out of here in Jesus' name. I'm gonna put up with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I'll say this, not on my watch. <laughs> we heard that this morning. Not on my watch. All right, well, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Don't forget, we have uh, Tuesday night prayer, Wednesday night service, and uh, then again, we're back on Sunday morning, Sunday night. Amen.